I ain't gonna lie, when it's hot, that caramel frappuccino, double blended, smacking. What do we have up in here? A little snack and nothing big. Bruh, I don't know how people have disagreed with me and said that this front end doesn't remind them of Viper. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Viper vibes, I'm telling you. All right, so we had a little technical difficulty. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Damn, what is that? Damn, I wonder what that is. Sick. Yeah, so the, um, yeah. So I was driving, actually I did a pull and the whole mid pipe popped off and I'm like, you know what? I don't have a jack in my car, I don't have any tools on me. I'm not about to sit here and wait like for an hour for a tow truck. So I just full sent it and just drove it home. <laughs> I dragged the shit out of that. It's a stock mid pipe, so it's like, I don't really care. I could probably find another used one for like a few hundred bucks, so. It is what it is, but I need to actually take that off because I have to drive the car tomorrow. Um, to drop it off to get the calipers repainted so I actually need to jack this thing up and I need to take off what's left of the exhaust Because <laughs> I can't be dragging that shit, bro. This thing is so loud like it's literally just straight open long tubes this Shit is like crazy, but the, the cam sound pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie. Oh Hey What happened to the O2 sensor? I thought I was never gonna get that shit off. That motherfucker was on there. I had to put the KY jelly on there and everything. Good thing that thing right there, you see that little uh, Golden Gate exhaust bridge right there? I was smacking the shit out of that and that thing popped right off. But if I didn't have that bridge, I would've never got that shit off. So I would've ruined my plans for tomorrow. But we cool. I just need to like zip tie this fucking other exhaust so I don't scrape that cause yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you know what that is, <laughs> that ain't cheap. If anybody's interested in this, mint condition mid pipe, no exhaust leaks, no scratches, scrapes, dents. O2 works great. <laughs> yeah, that shit does though. That's cool though, it's stock so I don't give a shit. Fire this up so you guys can hear how fucking loud it is. This shit is just disrespectful loud right now, honestly. Yeah, so I decided to just go ahead and put a clutch in here. To bleed the clutch, you have to like drop the whole subframe and a bunch of like bullshit. So it's like, why pay all the labor and do all that? Just putting the master cylinder on and bleeding the clutch and I might as well just throw a clutch in there. So uh, I got a twin disc coming for it, uh, some motor mounts, and there's like a few other little things that I needed. But um, yeah, after this, we should be 100% good. Uh, I believe I already put about 700 miles on it after the tune, so um, it's running flawless like so far uh, like I was saying the car drives fine I could like do a pull but as soon as I try to shift hard into about third uh, the clutch pedal goes super hard So it's like the stock system's not flowing the fluid enough or the fluids getting too hot because the lines by the long tubes or something like that So um, yeah, we're gonna go still braided line new master new clutch Should be straight after that and then all the fun will be released. I need to get another mid pipe And yeah Should be having some fun in this pretty soon Oh, I have some new lenses for the headlights too, because these are all scratched and shit. I don't feel like taking all that shit off though. <laughs> I guess I'll put them on whenever. Uh, the Q is in bad shape, man. Like, <laughs> this thing needs TLC, bro. It's the daily, so I've been driving this thing like crazy. My whole bumper is. This shit's done. There's so many like holes in the bottom of this bumper. Uh, I need to get a new bumper, another lip. Uh, my side skirts are shit. All my side skirts are falling off. This shit's hanging. My goddamn diffuser fell off the other night. I don't even know when. My whole last diffuser fell off. This shit needs TLC. I haven't washed it in like three weeks. I'm just like, God damn, bro. <laughs> yeah, this thing is a big filthy. This shit dirty as hell. 
it's all good. A quick little spray down, it'd be cool. And look at that. Just some quick detail spray in there like swimwear. I didn't even have to throw no soap on this bitch. Clean again. Yeah, this sprocket, that shit's done. So I have gold chain for it, uh, new sprockets. Um, I have new tires for it, so I'm gonna probably slap all that on at the same time. The beast. Oh, there's nothing, you guys ready for this? That shit is loud. Jesus Christ. That looking like a snack though. Always got whips here. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's sick. Let's do it. Uh, so that was ZR1 blue that comes on the C6 ZR1 calipers. Figured why not go with an OEM vibe. I feel like the red on the blue is gonna be a nice Nice touch to make the calipers pop out. But man, the vet is looking like a snack. And that's pretty much it, guys. As far as visual, I'm really honestly done with this car. Like, there's nothing else I want to do with it. Just the calipers, I'm good. <laughs> I'm happy with how this shit looks. I mean, it would be nice to get this uh, painted like gloss black. I know carbon fiber one would be sick, but I'm not trying to pay for that shit. I'm to the point where I put enough money into this car, I just want to do like the cheapest mods to it. So uh, it'd be nice to get that painted like gloss black. All the plastic on the car, like all of this, the wrap won't stick to this. So anything like that, if I can get all that painted like gloss black, that'd be pretty nice. But um, I'm pretty happy with it, man. The thing looks good. I feel like these cars don't need much. I mean, just the lip, side skirts, the Z06 comes aggressive stock, so. That's why you guys don't see me ever do too much to the exterior of my cars because I always buy cars that look good like in a stockish form so that way you don't have to do too much to them. <laughs> this is definitely one of those cars that looks good stock. Loki over there kind of, Loki kind of twinning with the NSX over there, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> we got the FD over here on the Meisters. Clean ass fool. I think one day I'll have an FD, I'm just not gonna have a rotary. The only reason I probably haven't bought an FD is because I know that I'm going to swap it. I'm not going to drive around with a damn rotary. As cool as that shit sounds, like, no thanks, bro. Rotary is, like, worse than a DE engine. <laughs> R32. What would you guys take? R32 or an FD? That's a hard pick. I'm not going to lie. 100% I think I would take an FD over R32. I like the R32, don't get me wrong, but it's just... As far as the older G older GTR is like R34, nothing else. Like R33 is cool too, but it's like R34 is the one. <laughs> so I need one of those two one day. All right, so we testing out the new view, um, and this is a different mic as well. I have like three different mic options right now, so I'm kind of just testing all of them and see um, which one sounds the best. Right now I'm filming on my GoPro 7. Um, honestly, this camera is awesome. I love it, nothing wrong with it. Uh, the hyper smooth options, everything, like it's A1. Everything's A1, it works great. Um, it's just the only thing I don't like is uh, when you use a mic to buy this big ass like adapter, it's about like this long. I actually ordered a GoPro 8 pretty much just for the bike. 
Uh, just for the simple fact that uh, they have a thing that's called Media Mod, and you, um, it's like a little case that goes over the GoPro. You could plug the mic directly into the GoPro. So uh, yeah, I don't. I just hate having the stupid adapter. It's like dangling, and I don't know what to do with it. Less wires, less headache. Um, this isn't going to be the final view. This is just kind of like a rough summary. I'm going to have the camera pushed back a little bit. I'm using this other mount for right now. I have another mount on order, but um, I'm kind of just testing the angle, see how it looks. Uh, I'm going back over to the shop where the vet's at. I wanted it a little bit darker for the caliper, so um, he made another sample for me, so I'm going to go check it out. Whoa, roadkill. Uh, figured I'd just hop on the bike real quick, just so I can test this camera angle and the mic. I don't trust you, bro. All right. Um, God damn, my nose itches, and I can't open my fucking helmet because <laughs> I can't open my helmet because I have this GoPro set up on right here. Shit. Ah. You ever try to itch something and you can't touch it? Oh my god, it's the worst. Ah, oh, man. All right, pulled up. My boy over here, Wes Jones. Look at that vet. That shit look like a snack. I don't think these two have met each other yet. Yammy. This is Zoe. Get along now. Get along now. I'm gonna have to re-clear this, bro. I think when it was sitting at the impound yard, it just started fading. What the hell? This shit got, got dry spots and shit. All right, so these are the colors here. I'm not sure if the video is gonna pick it up, but this is the darker one. I wanted it a shade darker. It's just gonna pop, it's gonna look nice. And if you don't like it, guess what? It's not your car. I'm not sure if I'm gonna end this video here and start a new one when the calipers are done. Cause then once the calipers are done, I'll pretty much be dropping it off to the shop for the clutch and all that other shit. So I might just end this video after this keep the suspense going so you guys can see how cool my blue calipers look honestly it's just <laughs> honestly it's just gonna look like a red zr1 so nothing crazy oh shit we got mike mike <laughs> Peep. damn we got the old kicks right there the nsx with the t easels got my boy yaz six got a little little ying to it <laughs> is that an rcf dog it is should we go hand in the gabble bees i think he needs the smoke That was a flame. Ah, he don't want that. That's just clean though. That mate wrap is hard. keep fucking with them got a little exhaust on it I like my Lexuses you know I just like Japanese cars honestly almost anything that's Japanese bro like it's pretty pretty sick think it's gonna take off or not nah?
Yeah, let me know how this uh, mic setup is sounding, how you guys are digging the angle. Obviously, this angle should be a lot better. You guys can see more. You don't see the helmet. You just see my skinny ass arms. If you guys are trying to find good earphones to use on your bike, I highly recommend AirPod Pros. Like, uh, the regular iPhone headphones, I try to use them, but like, you hear all the wind noise and then like one of them always falls out and it's just like, yeah, that shit just ain't gonna work. I had bought um, some other wireless headphones that are like earbud style, like AirPod style kinda, and they were just like too big. So every time I tried to put my helmet on, they fall off. The only thing that sucks is when you take the helmet off, the uh, AirPods kind of fall off. So try not to drop them on the floor, just like drop them in your helmet. I would say it takes about at least 50, 60% of the uh, exhaust noise away. So that's pretty sick. And then once you have the music on, like you barely hear the bike, bruh. I mean, once you get to like freeway speeds, uh, obviously you get a little bit of wind noise, but it's like night and day. Even if you're not listening to music, uh, just to have the noise cancellation for the wind and the exhaust noise, you know, just to help your ears out a little bit. Yeah, they work pretty damn good. Um, so as far as this thing, um, yeah, as far as this thing, like I said, it still needs the tires, sprockets, have to do all that shit. And honestly, it's like a bunch of unnecessary stuff you have to take off. I don't have the master link for my chain, so I might have to like get some bolt cutters, cut that shit off. I think I'm just going to take it somewhere and just have them do it because I don't even feel like doing this shit. <laughs> I have to take the tires off. Obviously, I can't mount and balance the tires myself, so I have to take those off anyway. So I might as well just take it to somewhere. Have them, have them deal with all that. Save me some time. So I'll probably continue this video when I pick the vet back up on the new caliper color. Then I'm going to be dropping it off to get the clutch and all that stuff done. So, um, yeah, sorry the upload's been slow, but we back on the grind. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. I'm going to catch you in the next one.